All right, welcome to a brand new challenge. And I'm gonna show you what we're working on. So of course, this is gonna be a horizontal slider to kind of end this section. And this is for you to try to tackle. So um, here we can see we have just kind of a, a very interesting illustration, um, a fictional fish. This is generated by Midjourney AI. Um, and if I scroll over here, we can see the second section. This is another fictional <laughs> deep sea creature. And then finally, this very scary looking creature as well, an abyssal spire jaw. And so if I zoom out, we can kind of see what this horizontal scroller could look like. And really, it's actually quite simple uh, because there's only just a text element here, a title, a description. We have the image here, and then we have these little fish in the background. And those are what this looks like at full opacity is this, and it's just a transparent PNG. So I, when you go to tackle this particular challenge and you export the assets, remember, you're gonna use a, uh, your CSS to reduce that opacity back down to where it is, like around 10%. Um, and here are the three objectives of what I want you to accomplish. In fact, I'm gonna show you what I created as a part of this project. This is my solution. Yours, does, yours doesn't have to be exactly the same, but as long as you tackle these three objectives, uh, I'll be satisfied with it. So um, here's what mine looks like. So if I just scroll, scrolling down, there we go. So it's just uh, real nice and fluid. And we can see the fish actually move at different speeds in the background. And they're also different sizes, even though the same image. So we're just using transform scale just to change some of their uh, sizes here. So as you can see, if you look at the fish, they're moving at different speeds. And I communicate that just to give you a hint uh, through custom data attributes on the image element that's on each one of these. Now, the next thing I want you to make sure to do is to make the um, sea creatures kind of come in in some way right here, just to give you a, a hint of how that's coming in, kind of how it swoops in. Um, I'm using an elastic ease, and I played around with those numbers to make it not too springy. Um, and then the final uh, requirement would be this uh, right here, this text. All I have is a parent container wrapped around it, and I just animate that from opacity zero uh, and like in, in a Y percent value. Uh, and it's it, that's a very simple way to, to handle it. So if you could try to utilize what you've learned in these previous sections um, to create something that's similar to this, that would be great. If not, don't worry, I'm gonna be showing you how I created this solution in the next video.